Uh, I might be about to get into Legend, depending on how this turn goes or the next couple turns go, but uh, in case I do, um, putting a video out might be fun. So, um, in my next video that's going to come out next week, I'm going to be giving away a code for 60, Jesus, 60 packs for um, Alliance War packs. So if you're interested in that, then um, I suggest you keep an eye out for my next video coming out next week. Until then, let's see what the Krabby Boy has in stock for us. Anything good? Huh. What's the board? He doesn't have rings, so Skeleton Dragon doesn't do anything for him. If I take the ring, he goes to 8. I could push 8 damage. I don't have Magicka for it, though. But that is reach next turn, which I kind of like. However, Skeleton Dragon in a turn is good, and I really don't want him to have that. I think I think I go Ring, though. I think Ring is the correct play. Uh, I'm going to kill this off because that dies to Ice Storm, or all of his actions, basically. So, if we can get Ring lethal, I will laugh a lot. That will be hilarious. He gets his own Baron. Interesting. I think I can. I think the rune skip still gets lethal. It should. Don't get guard. Don't get guard. Don't get guard. Okay, fine. All right, so we should have it. So this should be lethal for me to get into legend, which would be awesome off the back of a ring of imaginary might. I think this works correctly. Nice. Yeah, Halalu, getting it done. I'll show the list in a second once. Uh, the animation is finished. Oh, and we get a three victories as well. 890, that's not bad. Top 1000 is really kind of where I aim whenever I actually try to hit Legend in a month. Got uh, 10 days left. Probably won't try to hit for top 100, though. I do want to try and do that at some point. Um, but yeah, I figured while I'm filming, or while I'm climbing and about to hit Legend, that might be a fun time to start up a video. And again, make that announcement, 60 card pack code coming out in a video this coming week, so keep an eye out. Uh, the list really quickly is almost almost card for card exactly the Halalu list I was running before the new expansion. I've been trying out the Bandari Opportunists, which they're fine. Um, they're a, in most cases, they're a one mana Nord Fire band that is green. The fact that it's green means that it changes the odds for Halalu Oathman, like technically a little bit, but in all practice it doesn't change that much. Um, I'm going to keep trying them. I'm not sure if I like them better or worse, but um, they're at least worth an experiment. The other card that's really, really good is Varen Aquilarios. That card is super good at aggro races because we're really good at generating resources as it is between Pawnbrokers and Crusaders Assaults and what have you. We have plenty of draw and resource extensions. So Getting rune destruction cards is not the biggest deal, and we run so few prophecies that we don't want to bank on that either. So in aggro mirrors, just getting that healing is really, really nice. So, uh, yeah, that's all. Giveaway next month or next week. Uh, hit legend with this deck. So if you want to try climbing at the end of the season, give this a shot. Works pretty well. Uh, I think what we're gonna do for next week is do some breakdowns of matches from the Team Rank Star Classic, which unfortunately I couldn't cast from some prior obligations. But uh, Charmer took over for me; has been doing a fantastic job. So uh, if you haven't checked that out, the VOD will probably be available somewhere. I'm recording this while it's on right now, so I don't know where it's gonna be, but probably on the Team Rank Star YouTube. Check it out. Uh, and until then, see you next time.